because there's a, uh, a startling oh. statistic saying that every yeah. time the AFC lo- wins the Super Bowl, the economy goes bad, and, 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 it, and it has been for several years. Oh, that should be good news for the recession people. That's there. why the, the 70s were so bad, because the, yeah. the AFC teams always won the Super Bowls. <laughs> The Steelers. <laughs> yeah. Steelers, yeah, then Dolphins. So yeah. that's why everything was going bad. But uh, the 80s, the NFC won, and look how the 80s turned out. Yeah, great. It almost reminds me of that 80s show. What 80s show? <laughs> I mean, they canceled it? What, what show's that? <laughs> the 80s show is on Fox these days. I'm not sure what... They uh, make fun of that stuff, that startling prog- prognostication that you, that you come up with. <laughs> What's about that? Did you know that the organizers of a fishing competition in California have disqualified the winner for failing a lie detector test? A lie detector test? I don't know. You had to have a lie detector test just to get onto a uh, a fishing competition. But it says here the 40-year-old man says the 40-pound striped bass he caught during the Rio Vista Bass Festival is legitimate. It's the first time organizers have used a test, and he's hired a lawyer to appeal the decision. Now, does it mean that much to him that he has to get a lawyer to say that he caught the fish? What's his world coming to? Well, you know, that uh, they're afraid that he might have caught uh, the fish flash frozen at a supermarket and thawed it out and caught his own. But they don't have fishes. You can't buy, you can't <laughs> buy a 40-pound fish at a supermarket. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. What you supermarket do you, you go order? to? No, you can't. You can't order a 40-pound fish. Fish market downtown, you get that all the time. That's a restaurant. No. And you don't order a 40 pound fish. They order the, the, the catch of the day. Yeah. <laughs> catch of the day. Believe me, it's not possible to order raw fish off the air. No, you can't. You, no, you can't buy a frozen fish 40 pounds. Yes, you can. Do you know can. how big a 40 pound fish would be? Yes, you can. I brought, my family brought bluefin tuna, which is 100 pounds. And what do they do? Put it in a paper bag? Double well, it? They sell it. <laughs> They sell it to the Philippines for people to eat. Don't they have enough fish in the Philippines? Why they gotta, <laughs> why you got to send frozen fish? Now, how do you send frozen fish? Because the, tuna are banned in the Pacific. That's why. How do you send... Because there's no rivers over there. It's all... There's no rivers. all pollution. Right. Now, <laughs> what happens is what do you, you take, you take a 100-pound a, a fish, you wrap it up, you put it inside maybe some dry ice. Yeah. And then you, sit, you ship it fragile. How do, you, how do you ship a fish over the ocean? UPS. And if, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the, the plane goes down or whatever... What happened? Does the fish come back to life and swim out? What happened? It's dead. Huh? They cut off its head. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Well, because uh, it freaks out people when they cook it. Also, so it won't come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that would be pretty much... Um, that would be, would be final, right? Fish heads is a delicacy in some cultures. Fish? I think the Eskimos like to eat the fish heads. The yeah, mo- they do. The they don't mo- use for fertilizer. That's the, right. <laughs> did you know that the honeybee is the most popular U.S. insect? The African honeybee? No, the honeybee. <laughs> a regular honeybee. Is it so? Which is which is popular in the Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Hampshire, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Dakota, Utah, Vermont, so and we, Wisconsin. So it's like. We our 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 nation's bird is the eagle. So is our nation's insect going to be the honeybee? The honeybee, yeah, sure. Well, the most popular insect, followed that by the swallowtail butterfly, the ladybird beetle, ladybug, the monarch butterfly, the firefly. I like fireflies. I used to like to go catch them in, in the summer nights and then smash them on your your feet Write and watch them grow. Sh- hey, do, do they actually? I tried eating the wings of a monarch butterfly. It tasted bitter. Do they actually? Why vote would you? On why, wait, wait, wait. Why would you be eating the wings of a butterfly? I was a young kid. I thought it. I thought it was like candy, and my mom wouldn't give me any candy. And I said, "I want some candy." And I, I thought the butterfly nearby, and I thought it was sweet. I was five years old. That traumatized you at all? (laughs) (laughs) This guy doesn't eat candy now. Now, now, this the popular insects. Do they vote on this? (laughs) Well, there is no, um, there is no particular way that they find out. This is just a. The top ten favorite. I'm sure there's probably some election. Because I don't like or, bees. Yeah. But the killer <laughs> bees. The killer bees look exactly like the honeybee. The bo- That's right. J- you know? John Belushi. Yeah. <laughs> no, the killer bees are skinny. The honeybees are fat. No, nah, John Belushi <laughs> looks skinny to me. <laughs> he, 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 he must have been a uh, the honeybee then. That's right, but he called himself the killer bee, man. Maybe he was a honeybee that just maybe went crazy and needed therapy. Maybe he got fat. <laughs>